A huge embezzlement scheme could lead to a Jackson man spending at least five years in prison. The stolen items, they were lined up on shelves in the suspect's basement in the same way that they'd be lined up in a store, and police think the stuff was being sold on the black market. Steve Doty reports. I would put this easily in my top five of organized retail crime cases. Typically used to house emergency vehicles, the garage at the Blackman Leone Department of Public Safety building looks more like a flea market. What you're seeing uh, behind me is recovered merchandise. $32,000 in recovered merchandise from a Walmart in Jackson, and that's just three months worth. Police believe this scheme had been going on since October of 2011, and the totals could reach $100,000. There were several people coming into our local Walmart and doing price switchings, um, various coupon scams, and defrauding the company. Defrauding the company with the help of Walmart employees. We're here on case one, two. Police believe Anthony Stevens is one of those employees. A 23-year-old Jackson man was arraigned on Wednesday on embezzlement charges, which could land him behind bars. Punishable by up to five years in prison and or a $10,000 fine. Police believe Stevens is one of two Walmart employees involved in the scheme, helping roughly three individuals get discounted products and in some cases getting products for free. On some cases they were actually forcing through coupons enough that they were actually getting a refund through the store. Of the $32,000 worth of merchandise recovered so far, police believe those responsible spent less than $200 out of pocket. As there's a big difference between doing extreme couponing and doing it the legitimate way and forcing coupons through that don't have anything to do with the items that you're actually purchasing. In Jackson, Steve Doty, Fox 47 News. Authorities did recover most of the products and are returning it to the store. Stevens is currently scheduled to be in court again next week and more arrests are expected in the next few days.